Kauai is as romantic as it is evocative. Just mentioning the word conjures images of coconut trees, golden sandy beaches, luau's, lays, and bare-breasted Polynesian beauties. Thanks to Hollywood, our collective consciousness is packed with Hawaiian cliches starring the likes of Frank Sinatra, Ricky Nelson, Elvis Presley, Mr. Rourke, and Tattoo, either surfing, crooning, or wooing one of the local babes in a coconut bra and grass skirt on Fantasy Island. So when my friend Sean said he had an extra room in his vacation villa on Kauai's Nepali coast, how could I resist a chance to return 20 years later to the place where I got laid, that's L-E-I-D by the way, as soon as I got off the plane? The mythical land made famous in Peter, Paul, and Mary's 1968 hit, Puff the Magic Dragon, does indeed exist. It's on Kauai in a land called Hanalei. Puff, unfortunately, was not available for comment. They were a bunch of Filipinos brought them over yeah. in the 80s and they, uh, then there was a hurricane and then they all got fucking loose and they were like fighting chickens you know they just multiplied you know so that's, that's the story of the chickens <laughs> The mutiny on the bounty was the first recorded incident of Howleys, that's a white boy to you and me, jumping ship and going native. With every such abandonment of ship, prices have been rising faster than the tide at Middles Beach, the place where that cute surfer girl got her arm bit off by a tiger shark. So with all these Howleys going AWOL and prices higher than the coconuts overhead, it's no wonder locals eat 17 times more spam than mainlanders do. Mmm, what's the Hawaiian word for yummy again? The local trend in swimwear is towards the Brazilian aesthetic. Reveal as much as possible while only covering what's absolutely essential. Savor the scenery discreetly, lest you suffer the fate of Ricky Nelson while he was filming South Pacific here in Hanalei. Apparently, he got a little too fresh with one of the local honeys at the Tahiti Nui bar and got two Hawaiian punches that blacked both of his eyes. The next day, before shooting, Ricky was in makeup a little longer than usual. 